The Netflix survival action thriller series Alice in Borderland was created from the same named manga series by Haraway S.O. It depicts the tale of a group of people who are compelled to play progressively deadlier games in order to survive after becoming stranded in a bizarre and deserted version of Tokyo. Four suits of cards stand in for the four different game kinds. Hearts signify for psychological, clubs for collaboration, diamonds for intelligence, and spades for the physical. The card's number indicates the level of difficulty. The greater the number, the riskier the game. If the first season focuses on the number cards, season two moves the emphasis to the face cards. While this is happening, the main character Arisu and his friends and allies work to overcome every obstacle in order to return to their previous reality. If you enjoyed Alice in Borderland, here are some suggestions that could be to your liking. The majority of these series which are comparable to Alice in Borderland are available on Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and HBO Max. So without any further ado let's start with the first series in this list, Liar Game. An innocent young woman named Nando Chan battles rising debts in the South Korean television series Liar Game, which is based on the Japanese manga of the same name by Shinobu Kaitan. She makes the decision to sign up for the titular reality program, where competitors compete to win $10 billion, in the hopes of paying them off. Do Chan links up with Chao Yujin, a great common with the uncommon ability to accurately tell when someone is lying to them, in order to assure her triumph. Before being adapted for television, Liar Game and Alice in Borderland were both manga series. Although Alice in Borderland has a magical element that Liar Game does not, they also share similar themes and genres. Darwin's Game The television program Darwin's Game may be the one on our list that most closely resembles Alice in Borderland. When Sid Kinnam receives a mystery invitation to play an online game, he stops being your typical high school student. Kinnam finds himself caught up in a real-life struggle to the death when he starts the game, and a snake leaps out from inside. Each participant in the game is given a sigil, a kind of ability that serves as their sole chance of survival. A recurring theme in both programs is the idea of interactive games. The the main character of Alice in Borderland applies his screen-based skills to real life. Arisu, who developed his competitive skills on numerous computer games, now participates in real-life gameplay and its repercussions. In addition to being in comparable situations, Arisu and Kinem are similar enough to one another to be brothers from different realities. Both are masters of strategic thinking, but instead of using their advantage to hurt their rivals, they choose to aid them wherever possible. Remind, it's a Japanese television series is bold and complicated in its execution. The story centers on 11 high school students who awaken with their feet tied to the floor and sacks over their heads. They discover they are in an antique European style room when the bags are taken off and their captor appears to have a considerable limp. The girls start to vanish one by one as they strive to figure out what has happened to them. Much of the secrets in the episode are not disclosed until later in the series, just like in Alice in Borderland, Remind may not have as many action scenes as Alice in Borderland, but the show more than makes up for it with its psychological thriller elements. Sweet Home The South Korean television series Sweet Home was created from the Kim Kin Bee and Hwang Young Chin webtoon of the same name from 2017. The protagonists of the novel are the residents of the Green Home apartment complex, who find that everything around them has suddenly become horrific and that people are turning into monsters. Although these creatures play a significant role in the story, the primary focus of Sweet Home is still on character relationships and how different characters whether humans or monsters respond to situations. Both Sweet Home and Alice in Borderland have a fantasy-based backstory. Both programs also have magnificent action scenes and expansive set pieces that do credit to the suspenseful story. Zero, the bravest money game. Zero is a middle school teacher at a private institute. He gets the opportunity to participate in a game of survival. If the person manages to win, the reward is 100 billion yen. The games were set up in an amusement park that is under construction. The participants of the games form friendships and try to help each other out. If you asked why it's like Alice in Borderland, this show also fits in this deadly game subcategory of the genre. We follow the main protagonist that has been struggling in some way and wants to turn his future around. The potential of the games is presented to him, and he decides to take it. The Purge The Purge is a franchise that includes the anthology series by James D. Monaco of the same name. The story is set in an alternative America under the rule of a totalitarian regime. Similar to the movies, the government permits a 12-hour purge every year during which all crimes are permissible. The first season centers on a number of personalities who don't seem to be related to one another. These characters' paths will unavoidably cross as the Purge Night gets started. 
High Rise Invasion. The lone anime on this list is High Rise Invasion, which was adapted from a manga series by Takahiro Oba and Tsunamiura. Although there is an anime version of Alice in Borderland, it is an OVA that spans three episodes. Like the Netflix series, High Rise Invasion takes place in an urban setting in a parallel universe. This is described in the anime as an abnormal area that resembles a city full of skyscrapers connected by suspension bridges only on the surface. When Yuri Hanju, a high school girl, comes there, she learns that a bunch of masked men are after her and that she must either escape or kill them. Soon after discovering that her brother Rick is also a part of this weird universe, Yuri and Rika begin cooperating by exchanging information. Panic Olivia Welch, Jessica Silla, and Mike Feist starred in the brief-lived sitcom Panic, which was developed by Lauren Oliver from her 2014 book of the same name. The story revolves around 23 recent grads competing in the annual Panic competition in the hopes of winning a $50,000 prize. Panic, which is set in the fictitious Texas town of Carp, combines many themes with Alice in Borderland, such as despair, hope, and the need to survive. Panic is a very risky game, same like the one in the Japanese series. We are informed that two people lost their lives playing the game the summer before, as the God's Will. As the God's Will is most likely the current closest thing to Alice in Borderland. Both have been turned into live-action movies, but neither presently has any anime. Even though one is a drama series and the other is a movie, is it similar enough? As the God's Will also has a number of games that are psychologically intense and life-threatening, similar to Alice in Borderland. Shun Takahata, a regular student, is forced to participate in a series of violent children's games where the consequence for losing is death, and he has no choice but to keep winning in order to defend himself and his boyhood friend. A troubled classmate is savoring the chance to have other classmates skilled in the meanwhile. However, if you want to go on this adventure, be prepared for a lot of blood. And the last series in this list is Squid Game. Squid Game is a fun and action-packed series about a survival game, similar to Alice in Borderland, but with the Korean program. The Game Master is very much human. The show centers on 456 individuals who consent to participate in a number of kid-friendly games in the hopes of winning $45.6 billion. Many people continue to play the games even after learning of their lethal twists because they have no other option. Even while Squid Game may appear to be just another survival program, it stands out for its open examination of issues like classism, income inequality, and the exploitation of the poor and marginalized. Well, this is all I got for this video. Let us know in the comments below if you have more series, anime or movies can be included to this list. Thanks for watching and I hope I will see you in the next video.